I'm going to show you how to make a shelf fairly quickly. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a cube. And I already know the measurements of the shelf. Uh, in my case, it's going to be 24 inches in depth. It's going to be 42 inches in width. And it's going to be 80 inches in height. So once you have your measurements made into this cube, we're going to go ahead and set the origin to the geometry. And we're going to add some mirror modifiers. So we're going to add a mirror here. Make sure we have clipping enabled. We're going to add another mirror over here. And what that allows us to do is only have to work on one corner instead of all four. So this is going to speed up our time exponentially. So we're going to go ahead and start by creating a bevel here. And we're going to go maybe, maybe five. That's fine. And now we can separate by selection and we will have four posts for our frame. Now we don't need any of these faces at all, not even the top. The only face we need is the bottom. So we're going to set the geometry. Oh, we're going to go ahead and actually apply the mirror modifier and then set the geometry. And we're going to dissolve all of these, these edges. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this 0.75 and we're going to extrude it again 0.5. So we've created a frame and we've created a top. So what we'll do is we'll select the bottom of the frame, make sure we fit three and we're going to extrude the faces along normal inside just a little bit that'll create some stuff we need to clean up so make sure we clean up those faces all right so now we have the frame of the bottom shelf and the top lip where we're going to have our wood sitting so as you may have noticed we have some clipping we're going to fix that real quick just by adding a solidify modifier even thickness and we're going to bring it out just a tiny little bit. It doesn't have to be too thick. All right, we're going to apply that solidify modifier. We're not touching these sides at all. These sides are done. The only thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some holes to the bottom of this frame. And we'll do that by adding cylinders. And we're going to create a cutout stencil. So we're going to position them where we want the cutting to start. And in my case, I want to cut from left to right. I'm going to add an array modifier. And we're going to add probably 24 cutouts. 24 in this case is way too much. So let's go to 16 cutouts. There we go, that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is move these forward and we're gonna add a Boolean. We're gonna apply. Now we have these cutouts. We're gonna go ahead and move this shelf up just a little bit and we're gonna add an array modifier. And we know we want five total shelves. So we'll change the count to five. We'll zoom out and we will line them up with the top. And there you have it. 